What's up, Fortnite fanatics? I'm Toy Insanity. I bring the Fortnite Insanity on Fortnite Fridays. Check the Fortnite playlist. Guys, we just had a huge Moose Battle Royale collection drop. This is Wave 3. I found eight single packs at once, all at Target. All right, we got Bandolier. I'll show them briefly to you in the pack. And then I'll open them up, assemble them, you know, put them on the stands. We'll have a closer look. Bandolier is number 65. The Cloaked Star. It's number 66. Leviathan. Very cool. That's number 60. Omen. 67. I put them in alphabetical order. Scoundrel. 58 Sushi Master 64 The Ace I really hate the ones that they don't allow to be flat footed so this one absolutely has to be on that stand so weird 62 is the Ace 59 is Wukong. That's 64 through 67. And then we had 58, 59, 60, 62. We don't have 61 or 63. And it looks like they're going to be Backbone and the Mullet Marauder. No, 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 there's still two more. Wow, there's still four more single packs in Wave 3. Valor, Dark Bomber, Backbone, and Mullet Marauder. Well, give me about 33 seconds. I'm going to take them out of the packs. Go ahead and thumbs up the video. I'll get them on their little stands, holding their weapons. We'll be right back. All right. Thanks for the like. It is important. Let's start with... Let's start with the ace. Not only does it have to have a base plate, a stand, like bandolier, it has it comes with this weird clear jumping base plate. I don't know, jumping, flying, off the ground. But what's super weird about this is the ace comes with two back blinks, neither of which you can use. Because you have to use the plug in her back for this weird stand. Here are the two back blings. Of course, I don't know the names. So that's a weird one. Bandolier. I hate when they have to be put on these stands. You cannot just stand them up flat footed. And what's even weird about him, you have to have the display upside down. The stand has to be upside down because the hole, the only hole that requires him to stand up is in his left foot. So there's no other way to position it. You see what I mean? The V on the stand is upside down. Anyway, Bandolier, he's got the same back bling as Leviathan. And Leviathan is a weird one because this dome is soft squishy plastic they did exactly what they do this is what moose does with the grocery gang and trash pack whenever they make a figure that's supposed to be you know a little character embedded in slime or embedded in a fake ice cube or something it's just squishy transparent or translucent plastic formed around the hard plastic so it is a very soft, squishy, grocery gang type of plastic that makes his helmet. Which also means any hair or fiber or dirt or dust in your carpet or wherever you display these is going to land on that and stick to that. Alright, Sushi Master comes with this. Harvesting tool, this back bling, 
kind of unfortunate off-centered printing on the eyeballs on my figure. The store I was at had exactly one of each of these. This is Scoundrel. Got the crowbar, harvesting tool, and the safe back bling. And you see what I mean? Like his, you put his right foot in the stand, so the stand is at least right side up. Wukong, honestly, probably probably my favorite of these eight. I do like the gold paint accents, and I like that he's a bulkier, stalkier, chunky figure. I was hoping to like this guy the best. I do like him in the other toy lines, but I don't like the way that they did his helmet. That squishy rubber, yeah, just not my favorite. And then we got Omen. Omen in the artwork is always shown in profile. So this may be the first time, it's the first time for me at least, getting to see what that face looks like. And honestly, it's kind of a boring figure. I'm slightly more impressed by the Cloak Star. Giving me that Marvel's Ronin vibe. Cloak Star, a sword and a gun. I don't know if the sword is actually a harvesting tool. I don't even know. I'm not even a gamer. And here's what's weird. They're putting checklists now in the single packs. Wave 3, first time a checklist has shown up in the single pack figures. But it's the Wave 1 and Wave 2 checklists. It's not even the Wave 3 checklists. So, uh, yep, we got all these. Raptor, Rust Lord, Rex, Raven, Black Knight, and Triple Threat. The 2-pack is rare. I mean, we didn't even know that at the time. I've seen them reduced to about $5 a pack at GameStop. So pick you up that pack if you haven't already. Love Ranger, Technique, Carbide, the other Carbide, Sergeant Jonesy, Omega, the other Omega, Bright Bomber, Drift, Ragnarok, Cuddle Team Leader, Ultra Rare, there's my Scully Trooper, and then Diecast Limited Edition. Still don't know what the deal is with Diecast. But uh, some little child in the UK told me it is available in the UK. And then uh, Crackshot has been completely relegated to Wave 2. He was initially on the Wave 1 checklist, did not come out with, come out with Wave 1. And in fact, he's not even considered rare. But we get Drift Level 10, Abstract, Tomato Head, Shadow Ops, Battle Hound, Fly Trap, Mission Specialist, Dark Voyager, Moisty Merman, Funk Ops, Ultra Rare, Aerial Threat, Chomp Senior, Rare Sledgehammer, Crack Shot, Rare Red Knight, Bright Gunner, Rabbit Raider, Dire, Limited Edition Dire, Calamity, Limited Edition Calamity, DJ Yonder, Giddy Up, and Infiltrator. That's your complete Wave 1 and Wave 2 checklist. And I'm assuming the deal with limited edition Calamity and Dire is just a variant of that four pack where you get these variant color schemes. They seem to be barely even any different. You just got to keep an eye out for those. Just like Diecast is going to be some kind of variant. T -t two pack. That's my theory, my toy theory. That's what I'm working with. Thank you for checking out this video. Check your Walmart and Targets. Oops, this guy does not want to stand up. Oh, scoundrel. And there you go. Wave 3. Moose. Battle Royal. Figures. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next video.